gate which protects the clavis is very heavily sealed. It's almost certain that you won't be able to open it without a special crux designed for such a purpose. Find that crux. Thank you very much. Ah, I feel so lubricated once again. Though, hmm, my bearings do creak quite a bit after so long without servicing. But I suppose I am just a robot. A few creaks are only natural. I do envy you humans, who do not need regular maintenance. Maintenance? No. But we do get hurt, and then we need rest and care if we want to get better. Yes. But the humans these days do not age nor die, compared to a robot that will never get better if it breaks down. Yours is a life of infinite chances. Well, now you have a chance of your own. So what about those friends of yours who need saving? They are just this way. Follow me. for your long wait. You must have been quite troubled by being trapped in here for such a long time. Do not worry. You are free now to leave. There does not appear to be a response. Do you suppose they are sleeping? Are your friends out of fuel too? If they're like you, then they'll just need their tanks filled to be up and running again. I'm afraid they would have little use for such fuel. They are humans after all. What did you say? desert air absorb the moisture from your bodies? These people. My friends, they do not seem to be able to start up. If they have broken down, I will need to obtain new parts and repair them. Bhakti, you can't repair a human like that. They're just gone. When humans die, they never wake up again. Never start up again? We are finally reunited, after so long. I rationed my fuel so carefully, all in an effort to witness the end of the world together with them, my dear friends. I had no idea that they needed constant refueling. They must have thought that I had abandoned them here. I don't think they did. They would have known that you were doing everything you could to save them. I'm sure they were grateful for that. I thank you. Humans are a kind species. I truly did love these human companions of mine. Farewell, my friends. the best friend these people could have hoped for. The light of these souls. They are the proof of how grateful your friends were. It appears that Bhakti finally reached his limits. All of his functions have shut down. Hope, what do you think this is? Can even a robot possess something like a soul? I don't see how it could. A robot isn't made by God, 
but by man. But I do believe Bhakti felt for his dead companions. Perhaps those bonds gave him something like a soul. It's a nice fantasy to ponder, but hardly likely. So Bhakti's just a hunk of metal that broke down next to its old owner, eh? I don't think I could get along with someone who thought like that. I've been surveying the desert all these long years. But I have been completely flummoxed by those cursed tablets.
Perfect timing. I saw this coming. Come <laughs> on. 